Hi everyone, I'm Nikki. Today we will talk about how to set the spring parameters of DJ address, which means when we get an address, how to set the parameters and get a good spring effect. Firstly, I will talk about hat. Actually, hat is one of the most important parameters for agriculture. Okay, as you could see the picture on the right. Here is an example of the height design. For example, in the picture, you could see two nozzles, right? And there is a spacing between them. And here is the spring hat. And there are two spring ranges here from the two nozzles, right? The job plate is spread like this, okay? So there will be an overlapping area here. And the overlapping area is about 30%. Then it will be an ideal one. So from here, you will know the height is important. If the height is too big, then the overlapping area accordingly will become big. As a result, the job place from the nozzles will drift, right? But if too low, the overlapping area could be not enough. So it could result in spring leakage here. So the reasonable height is important. And the next one is the flight speed, okay? From the picture on the right, you could see for different flight speed, the influence could be different for spray range, droplet coverage in the middle and the bottom section, penetration, Drift risk, etc. Just an example. If the speed increase, then the spring range will increase accordingly, right? As we mentioned just now. But the job plate coverage will be worse, and also the penetration will be worse also. But the drift risk will increase. So we should choose a reasonable flight speed also okay, to get a good spring effect. Here I set some examples for the parameters recommended. And on the right, I show a picture which shows you how to set the parameters for different DJI algorithms. You could find this table from DJI Sales Manager or me, okay? Please consult with us. But this is only an example of rights for you. And also this is only for your reference. So we generally suggest that you should do a test in a small area before a big area task, okay? Yeah, because the situation in your country could be different. Here I also give you some example and reference for the different parameter settings range, okay? This is only for your reference also. And here is the table I mentioned just now, okay? Uh, it's the operation instruction of DJ Agrius Jones, okay? For example, for T30, T10, T20, etc. And uh, here are some attentions for you, okay? And uh, explain different kinds of parameters, yeah. Here, I would like to mention is that the line space is closely related to the model of the germ, okay? And uh, it could be quite different between different models. And also is related to the flying speed, yeah. And also strongly related to flight height. For different kinds of nozzles, the flow rate could be different. If the job plate size is bigger, then it will cover less area. But the drift will be less also. So please choose a reasonable one, yeah. And for DJ Agrius, you could choose different nozzle types, okay? And the standard one is SS11001BS. And here I show you something about the nozzle, okay? In the picture on the right, you could see, here it shows different kinds of no nozzle model, yeah. SR8001, SR11001, for example, right? And here is the mesh number, okay, mesh number. There is a mesh in the nozzle to filter the liquids. And uh, here is the nebulization pressure, okay. 
For example, 3 kilograms per centimeter. This will influence the flow rate also. And here, the nebulization angle. For example, the SR11001 is a fan nozzle. The droplet will be spread like a fan. So 110 degrees is the nebulization angle of, the, of this kind of nozzle. Okay. And here, the droplet size cross. It is divided into very fine, fine, middle, something like that. And here is the single nozzle flow rate. Okay, for example, 0 0.45 liters per minute for one nozzle. So here you could calculate, for example, for SR11001 VS, the maximum flow rate in total will be 7.2 liters per minute. From this explanation, you will know SR here means the nozzle tap, right? It's a kind of fan nozzle. And 110 means the nebulization angle of the droplet is 110 degrees. And 01 is a series of this kind of nozzle. VS is the material of this kind of nozzle. So SR11001 VS is a 110 degrees scalloped stainless steel nozzle. So in this table, firstly, it introduces the basic knowledge about the Jones parameters, right? Okay. And next is the weather factors on efficacy, right? For example, the temperature should be between 15 to 25 Celsius degree to get the best spring effect rather than too high or too low. Okay? And the humidity should be between 40 to 90 percent relative humidity. Generally, for agriculture germ, when they are spraying, the speed should be less than 5.4 meters per second. Okay? And also watch out not to drift one to the leaves or herds, vegetables or fish and shrimp pond nearby, okay? Because these creatures are sensitive to the pesticide. But if you are spraying herbicide, then the wind speed could be lower, okay? Because the herbicide is sensitive to the crops and may kill them. So the wind speed should be less than 3 meters per second for herbicide. And also some general factors on efficacy introduced to you. And next, we set some examples. Uh, for example, for rice, wheat, cotton, corn, for example. And what you have to pay attention to is that for different DJ agarists, the parameters could be different, including the spring amount of liquid, flat speed, line spacing, relative height, right? Okay, they could be different. Yes. So the first condition is that you have to know which DJ agarists you are using, and then check this table. For example, for rice, if we use T30 to spread the chemicals to control pests in warm areas, then the parameter should be selected in this group. Okay. But here, these are some parameters just for your reference. So for example, uh, here are some parameters uh, for your reference uh, for controlling pest or weeding for different kinds of crops and also spring defoliation for cotton, right? For example, in Pakistan or in China, there are some cottons, okay? Yeah, and the pest control and the weeding for corn. But as I mentioned just now, the situation in your country could be different, right? So please choose a good one and a suitable one to spray. And if necessary, please do a test in a small area firstly, okay? then spray in the big area. Thanks a lot.